What is beauty and what is ugliness? I mean, who came in here and told us that this is beauty and this is ugliness? And why do we accept it? So let's see the women's beauty timeline. 1920. That was a time when women didn't care about people's opinion or about how they look. Don't get me wrong. This doesn't mean that they didn't dress properly. They dress really properly, actually. Long dresses, gloves. 1930 to 1950. Unfortunately, that was a time when women started to pay attention to what they ate. So that was also the time when people's opinion mattered more than ours. Our bodies were no longer ours. The women were now desiring to have their bodies just like Marilyn Monroe's, Grace Kelly's. They wanted to look thin. They were told that their main goal was to catch a man and have a family. They were taught to dress to seduce. 1960 to 1970. The 60 changed forever the way that women view their bodies. The idea of being super thin has become super right, just like a law. Everyone followed it and no one break it. The 70s also gave rise to the jeans, you know, the ones that you used to hang out with your friends. 1980, the women were expected to maintain a certain weight, but still appear toned, all without being too muscular. Can you imagine that? They go to the gym, they do exercises, and they are muscles. Automatically, the muscles turn into weight, but be careful, you cannot pass the limit. 1990, the models dominated, just like heroin, the drug. If you had it now, you were considered cool. It gave rise to the pierced belly buttons and to the grunge style, you know, ripped jeans, ripped t-shirts. 2000. The women now has more choice than ever. The beauty price is high. Plastic surgeries, Botox, we do that. But we're even recreating some clothes styles from decades ago. I guess you have seen some campaign against beauty patterns on social media. Against the idea that if you're thin, you're beautiful. But if you stop to think, we wanted to have our bodies just like Marilyn Monroe and Grace Kelly's. We wanted to look thin. We created the beauty patterns. And what does all of this tell you? It tells you that you're not fighting against body weight. You're fighting against the idea that there's something wrong with you, something wrong with your body, something wrong with your beauty. But if you're brave enough to let this idea go, I swear, that the next time you look at yourself in the mirror, you will see beauty, just as I do. Thank you.